hi everybody welcome back it's priestess and medium rosalind how are you seems like everything is going on it's time for some love readings these are going to be like general love reads um the camera's in a different position so i hope you all can see well um i'm hoping also soul family that i <laughs> i don't get interrupted too much because um you know how that is too right i hope you're having a beautiful day today these readings the energy is probably going to be uh like the end of july up through the first week throughout of august i almost said october i think i was thinking about october because um this deck <clears throat> see this deck right here is called the halloween oracle um i love sugar sugar skulls ancestral energy you know those kinds of things so i ordered this back in may and I have not used it online yet. I'm still getting familiar with it. But I thought it was beautiful. Okay. Let's go ahead and get into the energies. Uh, thoughts and feelings. Of what we need to know for you. Okay. So this is. In the highest good. Mother and Father God. Let us know. Blessed Holy Spirit, what do we need to know? What do they need to know, those that are watching right now? Taurus, let's go. Your love reading. Let's see what's happening here, Taurus, for you. For Taurus, let's see here. Oh, wow. These are beautiful cards in the past, Taurus. Feeling sunny, free carefree beautiful energy here wow things that you worked on long term together beautiful sunlight a lot of aries leo sagittarius energy going on let's see what else is happening hmm okay wow so what i'm seeing here uh taurus is that decisions are coming in that you're defending Okay, I'm seeing some chaos, maybe a little bit of arguing here. Um, I feel like this person made you feel vulnerable. Yeah, the devil. The star. The six of wands. So some of you are actually going through a thing right now, Taurus, where things are bothering you enough for you two to possibly be arguing about them. One of you may have issues that are really deep, on a deep level, uh, addictions, toxic behavior, kind of like mental illnesses that might trigger using, you know, using, it could be alcohol, drugs, it could be sex addiction, it could be someone who is explaining to you that, you know, it's not a big deal, it's just that I do this, or it's just that I do this, you know, it's male or female. There's a healing that needs to happen here. Okay, so the two of you might bicker about this, it might be a little drama, you might feel vulnerable, um, but this energy, it has to be healed here because it's toxic, and it's keeping you from having the beauty, the success, in your love, the outcomes in your love here. The stars is huge. You need this healing. And why do you need the healing? You need it to, in order to be successful in your love with this person. Okay, when I'm seeing King of Cups and the Devil, that makes me think of someone who may be using alcohol. Okay, that could be. Um, there's some confusion here. It could be issues going on with the money as well because... You might be feeling, Taurus, that you need to be consistent and firm in your love and in your relationship um, to secure what you need and in your household and in your daily life. You know, you know that you like things in a in a way that's very uh, consistent. That's just you, Taurus. That's just who you are as an earth sign. But there's confusion going on. So this person that you're with or the energy that the two of you have going now is a lot of e emotions. It's very watery, very heavy emotions. Um, there's a lot of confusion being created by that. 
Um, this could be someone who's just got these addictions going in their life and it's part of them. I almost feel like this is something that's in them, you know, and you, you can't quite get rid of this and make it all happy again on your own, okay? I'm hearing, Taurus, there was some kind of shift in the foundation. Um, okay. Yeah, what I'm getting here, Taurus, is that things that happened in this past four months or so, it left them shaky. It left, it changed up everything. If things are at a certain level, this person is okay. But what's going on here, and it could be vice versa, right? Because I'm reading the energy overall. What happens is this person does not do well under stress. It triggers a lot of things within them. Do you see what I'm saying? I feel like this person at one time, they may have had like a history, like a background with these kinds of things happening with them. I feel like it's affecting the money and you know this, you're aware of this. What else is going on here? It's like their shadow self is coming in after all this beauty and this joy of things starting out okay. It's like their shadow self. I feel like someone had a broken heart. What else is going on here? Yeah, it's involving marriage or a long-term relationship. Yep, broken heart. Someone feels like they've been stabbed in the heart. Hmm. Yeah, and you, what I'm getting here is that you know, Taurus, because this is your card, the Hierophant. The Hierophant is Taurus, which is consistency, long-term relationships, marriage, things that we usually all submit to in our lives. Um, You've had this broken heart and you feel betrayed by this person because of how they've done this to you. Um, you, you might be just manifesting a way to get out of this relationship. You really may be overcoming some of this stuff because, you know, you're just not wanting to deal with all of the things that happen here. Yeah. So there could be a way for, you know, I mean, it literally looks like there may be another person coming into this. I don't see where this two of pentacles is leading to a bunch of things in your relationship being restored. It almost looks like there's a new path being made here. Um, the lovers is all about consistency, seeing the other person as equal, okay? Um, you and this other person like really seeing eye to eye here. Let's see, is this the outcome? Mother, Father, God, bless the Holy Spirit. Tell us about this lover's card here. Is this a new person coming in? Is this a new person coming in with the lovers? Or is this like total renewal here of the relationship? And it looks like it, this might be a new beginning here. Okay, I'm hearing from Spirit, like you you two would literally have to plan this brand new beginning, but one of you is going to be waiting. One of you is going to be, I don't know what to do. I don't know whether, you know, I should decide this way. I don't know if I should decide that way. I don't know what to do about this. Okay, and it's definitely about relationships, marriage, happiness, home stability that's what this four of wands is about but i see this brand new beginning here for some of you this is going to be a new love a love coming into play here for some of you you may feel that you're willing to wait this out you know because you really want this new beginning with this person that you love some of you may know that this person is too toxic taurus you know it already and you're willing to find this elsewhere okay that's what it looks like. Wow. Okay, Taurus, that is your love energy read, okay? All right, I'll talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.